I know you've done uh, multiple TED talks. You've been at Black Hat. You've been at DEF CON. You've done many, many talks. So thanks so much for, you know, for taking the time to talk to us on YouTube. And that gets us to the book. You've got to tell us sort of like the history of how this came about, because I believe that's actually going to do with one of your TED talks. That's right. I've been contemplating a book for, I don't know, 20 years because I wanted to write a book about how to analyze malware or how to handle nation state threats and all kinds of different topics. But when I did my first TED talk in 2011, then I actually really started to think about it for real because multiple publishers contacted me and agents contacted me right away. They all told me that, you know, Mikko, all TED speakers write a book. Mikko, you should write a book. So I tried. I tried my best. But with the amount of traveling I do for my day job, it wasn't just going anywhere. So it did really did require the pandemic because then I had no excuses. I had nothing else to do. So then I actually did sit down and start writing the book for real and at that time the topic sort of changed because I was initially writing a very technical book maybe a book about cyber war and, and nation state and offensive use of cyber power and, and malware analysis but my publishers told me that no 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 Mikko you should you should write a book about the things you've learned over the last 30 years about how did we end up where we are today where are we going to go next and you should tell your stories and that's what the book really is about it's it's about the big change around us it's about how the internet is the best thing and the worst thing which is happening during our time and then it's filled with stories and anecdotes of things I've done over the last 30 years.